Well, in this third video, uh, we are going to see how uh, we can create a stereoscopic pair from flight uh, um, that uh, we prepared before in, orthos in orthodrone. Uh, we can use sonic lights for uh, for see uh, in 3D, but uh, it's not the the perfect. Mm, uh, the best, the best way to work with these uh, images. The best way is uh, is use the um, NVIDIA 3D Vision kit, and uh, you can obtain the the best uh, quality and resolution of the images. Uh, but uh, when we uh, we try to show um, videos or demos uh, about the system through or uh, through internet or with uh, a screen capture uh, we n we need to use anaglyphs because with uh, an nvidia 3d vision uh, we can uh, uh, we uh, we don't can see two images at the same time Uh, with these uh, anaglyphs, uh, we can uh, do measurements uh, about height, height of different elements, uh, vegetation, buildings, whatever. Well, um, inside the undistorted folder, we have the images without distortions, the uh, camera auto calibrated before and uh, needed to use with these images and aero triangulation file. In this aero triangulation file, we have the path of the images directly prepared for use in, in OrthoSky and coordinates X, Y, Z, Omega Phi, Kappa. Well, uh, in OrthoSky, uh, we are going to fly tab, and the first step is uh, add uh, is import camera uh, from undistorted folder. Okay, we can see them the path, and this is the undistorted camera needed open and next is add images for add images uh, we have to change the coordinate system coordinate system of this project is uh, this one okay and now we, we are going to select the aero triangulation file. It's in this uh, undistorted folder. OSK ORI. OSK is for uh, Orto Sky. And this, uh, this file has the appropriate distribution uh, of columns. It's in uh, centimal degrees, angular units, for this example. And now appears the uh, images of the flight. Uh, like we can see here, uh, this is not um, rectangular images. B it, mm, this is due, uh, the flight uh, has uh, uh, has uh, Omega phi uh, parameters a little bit high. The correct flight uh, there will be a natural flight, and the images appears here like rectangle. Okay, uh, we are going to the first image to the end. 
with control press we can select all images uh, we are going in direction uh, left to right in, in this case is a normal pass the first option normal pass and we have below the uh, stereo pairs generated we can select one one of them and click on the glasses and uh, we can see the pair selected with this button we can switch off the <coughs> the bones of images the flight and the number of the images with the wheel of the mouse we can do um, the zoom and in this for this works is um, is recommended uh, to use uh, this 3D connection uh, mouse because the um, we can adjust the seat coordinate in the very very easy way and we can move through the project area very very fast and easy uh, if we don't have uh, this 3D mouse we can uh, change the change the Sita value with these buttons. Now uh, we we are at zero meters in Sita. With this button, we can set the Sita. This this is the the bottom set Sita. For example, twenty. And this is the um, step of the movement in in Sita directly we adjust at 20 meters and this is the mm, parameter to change the theta step in decimeters, meters, decameters in decameters for example and uh, we can change this step with advanced page of review, review page of the keyboard keyboard key for more accuracy or less now it's in meters but all of this work is uh, is more appropriate to use the 3d mouse we change to anaglyphs because uh, we in in this video in stereo only we can see one image of the pair but in analyze we can see two images with this option we can uh, show all information and we we can see the theta value on course on cursor In this case is uh, 25 and how we can change depends of the step of the Sita movement if if we put the anag lives uh, we can see how uh, with cursor we have to um, adjust in a point in the, in the vertex of, of a building, for example. And how we can uh, do measurements of the high we are going to switch off the show all information on cursor and in 3d we we have 6.4 meters is the height of the building in this in this side we can see in this way and with this button 
with dual mode we can change and see mm, in 3D the uh, the line for uh, for measure for do measurements in other side we have to put the cursor touching in the uh, in the uh, vertex of the element and go down to the ground and when the cursor is uh, touch the ground is the is when we can do the measurements the same for the the light street i put up and go down and when the cursor touch to the sound to the ground For this work uh, is required uh, a little bit of um, training and we have 7.5 meters. Okay, now uh, we switch off the analyze and activate auto load pair directly when the system uh, when, when the cursor um, go to the end of the pair automatically change to the next pair okay now uh, we are going to load the. Um, we are going to load the uh, MDB for capture geometries uh, in, the, in the similar way that in, in video number two, and we choose the uh, different layers we want to use for capture geometries. Uh, in this way, with Control key, uh, we select the same layers that the. Uh, example before and when we have all of these layers selected we only have to drag and drop to the main window and we have these layers directly or automatically when uh, I select the coordinate system and default set default for all of these layers click OK and directly in layers tab we have these seven layers with these layers we we can capture different elements now we can put again the anaglyphs and we are going to capture uh, a building select the appropriate layer and tool for capture this element each vertex is needed to put in theta coordinate for this we have to move the uh, 3d mouse or in the other way that uh, I I told before and for each vertex we have to adjust the theta coordinate the system has a lot of uh, different tools but we are going to see the the basic tools to end the capture press escape and we have the element we'll with all of the vertex in the right position now we are going to capture this other small builder building for the building before uh, if if we select it we can see the uh, different attribution or change each uh, film 
for editing uh, with double click over the geometry we can move vertex and now we are going to capture with this other layer adjust the zeta coordinate I need to activate in this case the 2D snap vertex and near snap and when I approximate to the geometry automatically we can make the snap we can see in this mm, dual mode orthogonal or um, conic view now we are in orthogonal view and we can see how the system makes a snap now sky escape and with dual mode again we can see the different elements of the building each one in in Sita coordinate now we are going to capture a line in 2D because the building uh, is higher than the mm, that this element and if we want to capture in 3D in this case we have to change to 3D snap and automatically the system put in Sita coordinate of the building element building vertex when we have activate the 3D snap when we touch each element automatically put in each coordinate in each sita seat coordinate for capture uh, point in 3D is the same we select the layer tool and now put in in the ground like we we use the same um, connection that the video to the two video uh, we can see the um, elements captured in 2D with the ortho image and now we can see the 3D elements with this 3D window we can see how is the elements that uh, we we have captured we can move uh, with 3D mouse uh, if we don't have 3D mouse we can uh, make zoom with a central uh, bottom of the of the mouse and we can uh, move pressing the wheel of the mouse with this system uh, we can obtain the Mm, ortho image, point cloud and stereoscopic pairs and with this stereoscopic pair we can uh, make restitution in th uh, 3D G GIS system and uh, all is important the other idea that we can have mm, a representation of the reality in our uh, in our laptop or uh, office and we can uh, do measurements of all of the elements